and I could just see this like blank, blank stare in his face and just like the life got sucked out of him. The room was silent as Ed Reed took the podium in front of recruits at Bethune-Cookman University. I'm not withdrawing my name as they say it. They don't want me here. Well, it's kind of devastating, so, I mean, I'm still kind of at a loss of words how everything transpired. Why is this happening? What's going on? Just hours before that announcement, Kristen and her son were ready to commit to read in BCU. Now, she just doesn't know. Well, he will ask, like, any update? Any update? Have you heard anything? So, I hate telling him. You know, having to share with them, no, nothing yet. They're, you know, they're still fighting the good fight. Reed split with BCU sparked protests on campus over the condition of the facilities at the university. Students have been marching <laughs> and holding sit-ins to carry on the message Reed helped bring to the forefront. Our protest is not centered around Ed Reed. Our protest is centered around preserving the legacy that Dr. Bethune left for us. Students tell Fox 35 they are tired of the dorm conditions. They say have plagued the university for years. They had hoped Reed could have built more than a football team, but a better campus for all. He truly is trying to build something great there um, that is bigger than football. And the fact that he has made the impact that he has in just three weeks with the folks that are there, I, I've not seen heard of anything like that in i don't even know maybe in my lifetime dave puglisi fox 35 news